Hi everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to another comic book review. And today we're going to take a look at Batman Beyond Volume 6, Divide, Conquer, and Kill. Written by Dan Jurgens and drawn by the team of Rick Leonardi, Andy Parks, and Chris Sotomayor. And this is the last one that's currently out now. Volume 7 is coming out in July. But this collects issues number 31 to 36. And uh, let's just jump into it. The last one was my favorite with the Joker returning. And this uh, has some cool things in it as well. Not going to lie. Let's just jump into it and see what we got. So, once again, uh, you have Batman. He's going to Arkham Asylum here. And just checking on things. He, he's donating to the cause every now and then. And you see the lights flicker. And he comes back to Wayne Manor here. And he's really not himself. He's acting a little strange. Terry and Matt are, are ready for a night on the job. Go fight some crime as Batman and Robin Beyond. They're suiting up. And Bruce Wayne is normally staying behind, giving them the commands through the um, their, their headsets. And he's like, well, I'm going to bed early tonight. You know, I can't do it tonight. So he, he's ditching them. And this new villain, Split, shows up, who's super fast. And it's revealed later that he's a speedster. And not only that, but he can split the two people, hence the name. You see... In that panel, he's gray and yellow. And this next panel, he, he splits into a gray and a uh, yellow guy. And they're just giving Ter Terry McGinnis a run for his money. Bruce Wayne is just drinking his whiskey and not really having a care in the world. And then it cuts over here to Arkham Asylum. I'm not who you think I am. I'm not, I'm, uh, I don't remember. So what could that mean? So Batman Beyond is getting his ass kicked here. Bruce Wayne is, is totally not caring for whatever reason, and he's just going on his merry way. So these two uh, characters split. They're, they're looking for some uh, powers technology from Derek Powers from his old facilities, at which point uh, Melanie shows up, and she's uh, staying behind with Matt while, while Terry's going to work. And Bruce Wayne is going to the casino. Wait a minute, I thought he was tired. Now he's going to the casino? So he's just acting very strange. Batman is continuing to get his ass kicked by Split here, who's super fast, super strong, and, you know, you see he's just going all over the place, zipping all over the place. So Melanie and Matt are, are trying to give him ideas. Bruce Wayne's hanging out in the casino, hanging out with his uh, escorts or whatever. <laughs> I mean, drinking his whiskey, just doing God knows what. And then it cuts to this character again at Arkham Asylum, who they keep attacking, and it's revealed that it's False Face. So, once again, Batman's getting his ass kicked by Split. Just getting pummeled. And it's kind of revealed that Split really isn't that bad of a guy. What's happened is he has a, he's been experimented on by Derek Powers back in the day. And uh, they were originally uh, two people and who became one and just all sorts of craziness. And they're just trying to get normal before they die because they have like accelerated uh, cells and uh, don't have much time for the world. So Bruce Wayne's here with his, his girlfriend. He's winning. He's like, I'm going to take you back to the Batcave, baby. Let's go. So they're in their ship on their way. And uh, Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis, is trying to get to the bottom of this. And he's like, go, do it. He's yelling at Alfred, the AI computer, computer to turn the machine off for Matt and Melanie. And Batman shows up to Bruce Wayne, to which he pulls out a gun. And he's like, I'm going to fire away at Batman. She's all like, Oh, you and Batman are friends? Cool. And we're going to kill him. He's just, he's acting completely insane, Bruce Wayne. And he's, he's firing away, jumping out of the freaking helicopter to attack Batman there. And at this point, Melanie's at Arkham Asylum to figure out, you know, Bruce has been acting weird since he went to Arkham Asylum, to which this guy, you know, the, the character they keep showing, False Face, comes out. And they're beating on him. And they take his, his helmet off, and it's revealed to be Bruce Wayne, really false face who's swapped bodies to take over the real Bruce Wayne while the real Bruce Wayne is in Arkham Asylum. So all sorts of crazy plot twists going on. And what happens is false face switches with Terry McGinnis, goes to Bruce Wayne, to Terry McGinnis. So Bruce Wayne's back to normal. Terry McGinnis in the Batman costume is false face. And the real Terry McGinnis has no idea what's going on. So it's a little bit confusing, but you know, when you're reading it, it's easy to understand. But me explaining it just like that, is a bit of a, uh, a pain. So at this point, Bruce Wayne's back to normal. 
He's trying to set everything straight. Batman is false face, and Terry McGinnis is wandering around aimlessly. So this Batman is trying to, you know, get split to team up to get their speedster powers while being a bad guy. And Bruce Wayne doesn't really know what to do because he wants to help split because they're really good people on the inside, but, you know, they're just doing it in a bad way to get the still technology from uh, Derek Power. So it's revealing their backstory, how, you know, they're, they're going to die soon if they don't find the cure. And Melanie Walker is suiting up as 10 from the Royal Flush Gang to go out there. And the, the uh, Terry McGinnis has, like, the false face uh, scan, so they're, they're seeing that he's wanted for murder, and he has no idea what's going on. And they're going after these guys. And wait till you see who shows up at the end here. So you see, zoo, 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 zoo. And what do you know? It's the Flash, Barry Allen, coming in to save the day, to save Melanie Walker. Bruce Wayne called an old friend to deal with an old speedster, calling the original Flash, Barry Allen. How cool is that, man? So he's there uh, trying to talk some sense into Split because he, he knows that they're good people deep down inside, being controlled by False Faces Batman here. And old uh, speedster Barry Allen is able to take on the new speedster and is able to uh, get him on the right path. And he's, he's saying, all right, I'll, I'll save you guys. If, if you just want to live, you don't want to cause harm, I got gotcha. you. So, uh, you know, Barry Allen's there saving the day, getting everyone rescued. But the real Terry McGinnis is still out there wandering away. And you see this foreshadowing. Who's green come out of the... That, I mean, what do you what do you think is going to happen there? That's some epic foreshadowing for the next volume here. And uh, then, so since the real Terry McGinnis is wandering around not knowing what's going on, this hooded figure shows up. Neo Gotham without the bat to protect it. Unthinkable. Good. Means it's fixed and ready to be put to work. Who is that? Oh, man, this is going to get good. So for those who don't know, I jumped into Batman Beyond on issue 41 and 42. So I already sort of know the conclusion, but I didn't see the other issues in between. And the next volume, volume seven, is going to collect issues 37 to 42. And let me tell you, that's a really good uh, volume right there coming with, um, you know, the, the green shadow coming out of the, the abyss there. That's some, some great foreshadowing to one of the old school Batman Beyond villains. So that's a great issue. Overall, this might be my least favorite of uh, the entire Batman Beyond run. I love the Joker run the best. And I really liked the Damian Wayne run. That was really good. But this was still fun. It was pretty pretty comical to see Bruce Wayne at the uh, casino betting away with his escorts and whatnot. And it was really cool to see old man Barry Allen back. Let's see if we can get to that panel again because that was, that was awesome, seeing him come in there to save the day. Where is it? Right there. Awesome. Good stuff. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Uh, taking a break from Batman Beyond until July when we get the next – Volume, Volume 7, and then hopefully we'll be reading the single issues again, too. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and stay tuned for some more comic book reviews coming soon. Have a great day, everybody.